The, uh, the reason why I'm here is to express my dissatisfaction to the judiciary as well as the Department of Justice. They are not doing their job. They are trying to stall many of the cases which have been, should have been uh, dealt with long time ago. And also, insofar as the judiciary is concerned, uh, the sentencing which have been passed to many of the rioters are less than adequate. And uh, the reason why I'm standing here today, and I'm sure a lot of people will, uh, will be reluctant to stand in front of the camera to express their view, dissatisfaction against the judiciary. But we have to face the reality. The reality is the, judi the judiciary is not doing enough. Look at what uh, the United Kingdom Court has done. They have, at the beginning of the riot back in 2011, the UK Court right away sent out clear messages to the rioters and also to the judges of the lower court asking them to disregard the past sentencing guideline, asking the lower court judges to impose heavy sentences against the rioters. And that's why within a matter of very short period, the riot in the United Kingdom quieted down, but not in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is still, the rioting is still going on. As citizen, law-abiding citizen, we are not happy. The judges from the high above don't stand behind, don't sit behind the computer keyboard and doing nothing. Come forward. There are a lot of things which I'd like to speak to the uh, students. And most important of all, there is only one suggestion I can make to you. Don't ever try to lend yourself to the wrong side of the law. It will cost you a lot. It would cost your future. Don't listen to the politician. Use your own common sense. Use your own judgment to say no to violence. Not to take part in any rioting. That is my advice.